When we are faithful to God's plan, communication becomes an effective expression of our responsible search for truth and our pursuit of goodness. Dear friends, our diocesan pilgrimage last month to Emmitsburg to the National Shrine of St. Elizabeth Ann Seton and the Grotto Shrine of Our Lady of Lourdes provided reminders that sometimes we forget. Namely, that here on earth, we are pilgrims. And this life is only a journey leading us to our final destination, pray God, to life with Him in heaven. And for that reason, we are called daily to die to ourselves, to my way, to my will, and to rise with Christ and the newness of life that he offers to us both now and forever. On this beautiful day, as the universal church commemorates all the faithful departed, as we will soon bless the graves on this sacred ground and in a special way throughout this month of November. We pray for all those who have gone before us marked with the sign of faith. To pray for the dead is a sacred duty. It's a spiritual work of mercy. And today, as we remember our loved ones who have died, I'm sure there are many emotions for all of us. There's sadness and there's grief. There's also a spirit of gratitude and thanksgiving and a willingness to embrace the challenge that is ours. We miss the physical presence of those we love who have died. And so naturally there's sadness and there's grief but it's because of love that we have been able to entrust them to God's mercy and to all the blessings awaiting them in the kingdom of heaven, praying that where they are, one day we hope to be. I'm sure many of us had the experience at the final moments of death when we were with the persons we love hearing them say to us so peacefully, let me go to God. Let me go home. Faith and love allow us to say yes. In the midst of our sadness and grief, there's also a spirit of gratitude and joy and thanksgiving because of the promises we heard from God in the word just proclaimed. From the book of wisdom, the souls of the just are in the hands of God, and grace and mercy are with them. From St. Paul, hope does not disappoint. And from Jesus himself, who says that all who see and believe in me will be raised to newness and fullness of life. How blessed are we as we gather around the altar today to pray for the faithful departed and to celebrate the great truth that unites us, that by his own suffering and death and resurrection, Jesus was not defeated. He proved victorious and has turned suffering to glory and even death to life. Dear friends, we will soon be strengthened by the bread of life. With this precious gift, may we go forth as pilgrims on this earthly journey, dying daily to self and rising with Christ. And with faith 
and in joyful hope, may we commend our loved ones to the love and mercy of God. As we say together, eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and may perpetual light shine upon them. May their souls and all the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen.